Hello, everybody. Happy Taco Tuesday. Live in my Honda in San Diego, parked in an alley and about to eat a Mahi Mahi taco from El Zarape Mexican Eatery off of Adams Avenue in the North Park area. So I'm very excited to eat this taco. I'm going to wait till some of y'all join me till I take a big old bite. I want to know who else is partaking in Taco Tuesday as I spit across the screen. If you are celebrating Taco Tuesday, let me know what kind of taco are you eating? What's your favorite taco joint? Hello, everybody. Recently, there was a woman in the news who I believe turned 100 or 98 or some astronomical age that I can only hope I don't live as long. And she celebrated her birthday at Taco Bell. Taco Bell, not my choice of Mexican food. I don't even know if you'd consider that Mexican food. It is food that you do enjoy at about 3 a.m., 4 a.m. John Bright is making gyros tonight. It's kind of a taco. Okay, here we go. Lots of you are here. Oh, is that dirt? I have dirt on my shirt. I just came from the gym. So I'm all dirty and yucky. Anyway, it is Taco Tuesday live in my Honda, parked in an alley. I went to El Zarape Mexican Eatery on Adams Avenue, and I got the Mahi Mahi Taco. Aaron Good is eating a Locos Taco from Taco Bell. Now, if you tuned in last week for Taco Tuesday, this is like a rat's nest here. I bought a ginormous taco for $3.50, and it was so, so good. Today's taco cost $4, over $4. Is it worth it? I don't freaking know. Ooh, okay. So uh, here's the first impression of the, the Mahi Mahi taco. Uh, it's a little messy. They just kind of threw it in here. This is $4, mind you. More than $4. Angel Louise says he mix, misses me on Fox 32 AM weather, which is interesting because I never did weather, but thank you. So anyway, here's my Mahi Mahi taco from El Zarape. Uh, it's very messy. Let's count the amount of Mahi Mahi that we actually have. Here's a decent sized piece of fish. And here's another okay sized piece of fish. So one taco, more than $4, only two p pieces of fish. These two little pieces of fish. That's it. Uh, they kind of threw it in here. They did not give me any napkins, which my bad for not realizing that. They did give me a lime, however. So I'm going to squeeze this lime. You know, I really need napkins. I'm going to tell you what. Okay. I really wish I had a napkin. Is that a big enough tray? I don't know. Anyway. I know a lot of you said you're not fans of the fish taco. What's wrong with you? Jason Cervantes says, why all the waste? Wrap in foil and move on. Yeah, I mean, I didn't package this, but yes, I have noticed that a lot of places here, this is like a, I think this is biodegradable. It's not styrofoam. But yeah, they do foil. They give me a bag. They could have just threw it in a, they could have just threw it in my mouth and called it a day. So please leave me your suggestions. Um, Jimmy Valentine is saying go to Maria's in Spring Grove. Alphonse Delamoda is saying Mexican food is way better in Chicago. I still have not gone to Rubio's, Carlos. Haven't gone there. But anyway, can I post to Aussie? Okay, if you're just tuning in, <laughs> wait, can I just read this comment? Frank Yosik says your nails are so alluring. How are my nails alluring? What does that mean? Weird. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Okay. Mahi Mahi Taco. More than $4 for this bad boy. Here we go. First impression of the Mahi Mahi Taco from El Zarape. Mm, meh. Yeah, it's a meh. I don't taste a lot of flavor in here. 
I do like Mahi Mahi. I do like fish. Hmm. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If I didn't put that lime on here, there wouldn't be much flavor. Okay. Now, to be fair, I believe when I walked into El Zarape, there was a sign saying something about healthy. So I don't know if they claim these are healthy. I don't know. I didn't really read the sign too well. But perhaps this is a, this is a healthier version of a taco. So Victor Mercado is asking me to rate it. Out of five tacos, I would rate this two and a half. This Mahi Mahi Taho, Taco, Taho, <laughs> I'm not in a Taho, I'm in a Honda. I would give this mm, two and a half out of five tacos. The Mahi Mahi itself is a good chunk of fish. It's thick, it's meaty, but there's just not a lot of flavor. I don't know what this is, some sort of coleslaw. But there's no flavor, minus the lime that I poured on here. There's not a lot of flavor. The taco that I had last week, for sure, way better. All right, what are you guys saying? Alphonse de la Moda. Come on, California, you used to be the motherland. Mexicalifornians, step it up. No, I appreciate that comment. I've had a lot of amazing tacos. Now I'm just being a little hardcore about it. This is a good taco. However, if I'm going to be rating these things, I don't I don't give it a very high rating. It's more, this is a taco that I would make at home. You know what I'm saying? This is like a Jenny made this in her kitchen taco, which is delicious, but you wouldn't probably pay me $4 for it. Or would you? You want to pay me to make you a taco? I'm trying not to talk with my mouth full. Freddie Arellano says, try beef tongue tacos. They had at this place, El Zarape, um, they had scallop tacos, I think octopus tacos. So maybe I'll come back and try it. This is really funny to me. I don't get why people make these sort of comments. David Black said, I would say something, but I'm not going to. So by you writing that, what sort of response are you trying to elicit? You're not going to say something, but you're saying you're not going to say something. So what's the point of you saying that you're not going to say something? So Robert Barnett is asking how the fish is cooked. It does look grilled. It's not fried. It's a nice, it is a nice piece of fish. This is a nice piece of mahi mahi, which is probably why they charged me $4 for it. There's just no flavor. This is exactly how I cook at home. I put lemon on something. I put lime on something, but there's really not a lot of flavor. It's good. It's meaty. I know last time I went live, you guys were asking about the shells, that I should talk about the shells. This one looks like um, it's a pretty thick corn. It looks like a corn shell. It's pretty good. There's pieces of lettuce in this taco. Unnecessary. Yeah, cabbage. No Corona, buddy. I'm in a car. No Corona. David Dahlstrom is saying blue water seafood yellowtail fish tacos. You guys, if you're in San Diego, please let me know where I should go for my next taco. Every Tuesday, I'm driving around. I'll drive all over San Diego, and I will find the best taco. So far, this is not the best one. It's good. The taco I had last week, thus far, is reigning supreme on the taco list. Now, I know you're wondering, well, where's this list? This is, I believe, my fourth place. What I need you to do is go to JennyMilkowski.com, go to the pull-down tab, and go to Taco Tuesday. And then you can see all my past reviews there. So all my Taco Tuesday reviews are on my website. You guys can check it out there and see which one I think is the best. 
Aaron Hawkins says it needs more fish. Two pieces is not enough. I think most people order more than one taco. I only got one. So two pieces is, is fair per taco, but I think you'd most likely get two tacos. Jason Cervantes says, best taco I've ever had was on a golf course in Huntington Beach, California at Meadowlark Country Club, a guy in his cart on the 15th tee box. It's always those street tacos. They have street tacos here too. I just didn't get one. Aris is asking if I like Italian food. Honestly, I'll put it this way. If you asked me what I wanted to go out to eat, I would never say Italian food. I never want Italian food. I'm not a pasta fan. I never, ever, ever want Italian. I always want Mexican. Sushi sometimes. Chinese never. Really, mostly Mexican is what I crave. It's my go-to. Patrick Paul is saying, Hey, Jenny, what about a pierogi taco? Best of both worlds wrapped together. Jim Baran only eats fish during Lent. A lot of people are mentioning these beef tongue tacos with cilantro and onion. Thank you, Freddie. Yeah, this it did seem a little overpriced to me, especially since the last one I got was humongous and it was $3.50. This one was smaller and it was more than $4. But this place that I went to looked a little fancier. I think they were healthier. The place I went last week was more of a hole in the wall. So maybe that's why it was bigger, less expensive, and maybe more delicious. Payo Magana says, why don't you try an intestine tripe taco? They're so good, really crispy. I'll, I will try anything one time for sure. Anthony Rodriguez says, Latinos don't drink Corona. That isn't a real Mexican beer. Only white people that think Mexicans are taking their jobs drink that mess. I went to Mexico many times, and the last time I was in Tulum, I spoke with the bartenders. I'm sweating in here, by the way. And they did tell me that the margarita is not a Mexican drink either. That people in Mexico drink, um, what is it, a Paloma? So here in America, we think, ooh, Mexican margarita. My sunblock is sweating off. Mexican margarita, but really it's, I think it's the Paloma. So it's like tequila and Sprite or something like that. At least that's what they told me when I was in Tulum, which I loved. Before I got all popular, now it's another big tourist area. There was, I don't know if there was cilantro in this one, Carla. If there was, it was very minimal. It was minimalist cilantro. Jeff Podefshik says, it seems like people from San Diego pour hot sauce in between each bite. Is it just me? Burrito reviews, fave Polish dish. So I haven't noticed anyone pouring hot sauce in between each bite. I'm going to keep it to tacos on Taco Tuesday, and I definitely don't want to get obese, so I'm not going to be doing an everyday review of food because that's way too much for me. So we're going to stick to tacos on Tuesdays for sure. But I do have a couple other spots that I want to get to, including some pizza joints and a Polish place. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Rich Urbanati. Who was that? Bruno Berrio says, oh, poor baby. Sunblock is sweating off. Must be terrible. Yatsek Clemens is worried about my vegetable intake and saying, I think you need to eat some fresh vegetables to gain a bit of vitamins, don't you? I eat my veggies. Don't worry, Yatsek. Jerry Ostos, Paloma is tequila and grapefruit pot. I think in Mexico they said it's it's not the Sprite, but maybe grapefruit juice, some other um, soda maybe that they put in the Paloma. But yeah. All right, guys, happy Taco Tuesday live coming at you from my Honda. Just ate a Mahi Mahi taco from El Zarape Mexican Eatery on Adams Avenue in North Park, which is inland. 
I gave it a two and a half out of five. Was not the best, was a good chunk of mahi-mahi fish, which I did enjoy. So a little bit of a health benefit. Michael Latham says, I am impressed you have a car. Wow. Well, Michael, I had a car my entire life until I sold it when I lived uh, pretty much almost downtown Chicago. So you don't need a car. So I sold that bad boy because it was saving me money to sell it. Then when I came out here, there really is no reliable public transit. So you need a car here. Unfortunately, because I'm going to be honest, I hate driving. Dan Hines, shrimp and bacon tacos from Tacos El Norte. The torpedo tacos are awesome. I usually get the steak torpedo taco. It is an open-faced taco with steak, grilled onions, Spanish rice covered with melted cheese and topped with an over-easy egg. Love it. Dan Hines, that sounds amazing. Where is that? Is that here in San Diego, Tacos El Norte? I hope so, because I want to go. Adios, Efrain. Adios. So I'm sitting on my leg and it's fallen asleep, man. I'm going to get shoe marks all over my, all over my seat. All right, guys. I would totally try a poutine taco. Aaron, why not? Again, I will try anything once and I'm not trying to rub it in, but I am saying I'm sweating. I'm glistening. I have a glow about me because it's so darn hot in this car because I turned the AC off so that you and I can have a private conversation without the air blowing and interrupting us. David Galvin is asking, where you been? What do you mean where? I always, it irks me to no end that the Facebook algorithm is such poop emoji that people haven't heard from me in eight months, even though I'm constantly on Facebook, constantly doing videos, constantly creating content for you guys. And then someone will pop on and say, where you been? Aaron Good says you're shiny. Yeah, I know. I just said that I was sweating. <laughs> what is wrong with people? All right. Happy Taco Tuesday. El Zarape Mexican eatery. Pretty good. Not the best. Mahi Mahi Taco. I hope you enjoy your Taco Tuesday. Please.